here, I don't like the fact that Git module is the one set in the X mark. So I think I'm gonna make another module to handle the X mark. So we just going to move the set X mark function to the new module. And I think I'm going to let the module hold the namespace ID. So now we don't have to provide a namespace in the function. And here we're getting a namespace from the uh, module table. So we put the M there. And we have to modify the git module accordingly by requiring the X mark and changing the uh, function signature. So when we set X mark, it returns an ID and we need that ID later to delete it. So we need to store the ID somewhere. So I guess we can put that in the X mark table. And we can set it to nil initially to indicate there is no X mark. Or it might look cleaner to set the ID within the set function itself. So then we don't have to do that inside the blame function. Maybe here I like setting it to local first and then assigning it to module.id. So now I guess we can go back to user file. And don't forget to set the X mark to nil. and rerun the file and make sure it is still working.